Greetings, global adventurers! Welcome to another episode of Asia Unveiled. Today we ascend the Himalayas to discover the secrets of Bhutan, a kingdom where happiness is a national measure and traditions are deeply cherished. Number 1. Bhutan, the last great Himalayan kingdom, measures its propensity not by GDP, but by gross national happiness. It's a philosophy that places the well-being of its citizens above all else. Number 2. The iconic Tiger's Nest or Baro Taktsang Monastery seems to defy gravity, clinging to a cliffside. This sacred site is associated with the great Guru Rinpoche, who introduced Buddhism to Bhutan. Number 3. In Bhutanese culture, Zongs are a cornerstone. These fortress monasteries are both administrative centers and temples, often set against breathtaking landscapes. Number 4. Bhutan has a commitment to environmental conservation. Remarkably, it's not just carbon neutral but carbon negative, absorbing more carbon than it emits. Number 5. Bhutan's national sport, archery, goes beyond just hitting the target. Participants dressed in vibrant traditional clothes engage in dance, song and playful jests during matches, turning it into a lively cultural extravaganza. Number 6. Emadachi is not your ordinary cheese and chili dish. It's Bhutan's iconic spicy and creamy delight. Every spoonful promises a fiery dance of flavors, making it an essential culinary experience in the heart of the Himalayas. Number 7. Bhutan's reverence for nature extends to its wildlife. The country is a sanctuary for endangered species like the snow leopard, Himalayan black bear and the mystical white-bellied heron, reflecting Bhutan's commitment to preserving its rich biodiversity. Number 8. Bhutan's postal system is unlike any other. In the capital city of Thimphu, you can visit the Bhutan Postal Museum and even create your own personalized stamps. These personalized stamps are legally valid and can be sent out as part of a postcard to anywhere in the world. Number 9. Bhutan's Hobjika Valley isn't just a scenic wonderland. During winters, it becomes a haven for black-necked cranes migrating from Tibet. Their graceful dance amidst the serene valley is a sight to behold. Number 10. Traditional Bhutanese homes are a canvas of art, painted with vibrant motifs, often featuring dragons and phoenixes, and adorned with intricately carved wooden windows, each house tells a story of Bhutan's rich heritage. Number 11. The Dochula Pass is more than just a picturesque route. Dotting the pass are 108 memorial stupas built in memory of soldiers, offering travelers a blend of panoramic beauty and spiritual solace. Number 12. The Bhutanese Zongs aren't mere fortresses. These massive architectural wonders house monasteries and administrative offices, seamlessly blending spirituality with governance. Punaka Zong, located at the confluence of two rivers, is particularly awe-inspiring. Number 13. Bhutan's national dress is a testament to its cultural richness. Men wear the go, a knee-length robe, while women adore the kira, an ankle-length dress. These traditional garments are worn daily, reflecting the nation's proud identity. Number 14. Bhutan is home to one of the world's most challenging runways at Paro Airport. Only a select number of pilots are certified to land here, given the airport's location in a deep valley and the need for sharp turns amidst towering peaks to approach the runway. It's not just a landing, it's an adventure in itself. Number 15. Bhutan's national animal isn't a mythical creature, or is it? The Takian, with its moose-like face and cow-like body, looks like it's straight out of a legend and yet it roams the Bhutanese forests in reality. Number 16. The annual Thimpu Techu isn't just a festival. With vibrant mask dances, traditional music and religious celebrations, it's a soulful dive into the heart of Bhutan's rich cultural and spiritual tapestry. Number 17. The Chomol Hari trek isn't for the faint-hearted. This challenging hike takes adventurers past shimmering lakes, majestic mountains and ancient zongs, offering a breathtaking journey through Bhutan's natural and cultural wonders. Number 18. Bhutan is one of the few countries that has never been colonized. Throughout its history, the nation has managed to retain its sovereignty and unique identity, resisting external domination and influence. Number 19. The serene Bumtang Valley isn't just a traveler's paradise. With its spiritual sites including the Burning Lake, Membarcho, it's believed to be a place of sacred treasures and profound legends. Number 20. Bhutan's textile industry, particularly the weaving of Yathra, is a blend of art and heritage. Hand-woven with vibrant patterns and designs, these textiles capture the essence of Bhutanese culture, making them prized possessions for both locals and visitors. Number 21. The red rice of Bhutan is more than a staple. Cultivated in the country's central and eastern regions, this nutrient-rich grain, with its unique nutty flavor, defines Bhutanese cuisine and culture. Number 22. Bhutanese hospitality isn't just about comfort. With the concept of Aditi Devo Bhava, meaning guest is God, 
Visitors are treated with unparalleled warmth, making every stay feel like a homecoming. Number 23. The Black Mountain National Park isn't a regular green space. Home to elusive species like the snow leopard and red panda, it's a thrilling showcase of Bhutan's diverse and rich wildlife. Number 24. In Bhutan, prayer flags do more than just flutter. Dotted across the landscape, they carry mantras and blessings with the wind, turning valleys and peaks into kaleidoscopes of faith and colour. Number 25. The National Library of Bhutan in Thimphu isn't just shelves and books. Housing ancient texts and scrolls, some dating back centuries, it stands as a guardian of the nation's literary and historical treasures. Number 26. Bhutan's hot springs, or Sha Chus, offer more than relaxation. Nestled amidst serene hills and forests, these natural springs are believed to have therapeutic qualities, blending wellness with nature's charm. Number 27. The annual Nomad Festival in Boom Thang is more than a celebration. It's a vibrant display of Bhutan's pastoral culture, showcasing the unique traditions of herders from the country's remote highlands. Number 28. The kingdom's folk music doesn't just entertain. With traditional instruments like the Dramnian and Yang Chen, these melodies narrate tales of love, valor, and nature, echoing the soul of Bhutan. Number 29. Bhutanese currency. The gold room is more than just money. Each note, adorned with images of monasteries, landscapes, and the beloved king, tells a story of the nation's pride and heritage. Number 30. The Ha Valley isn't merely scenic. Known for its three sacred lakes and adorned with ancient shrines, this tranquil valley is a confluence of nature, splendor, and spiritual aura. Number 31. Bhutan's traditional medicine, Sowa Rigpa, goes beyond herbs. Blending astrology, spiritual practices, and natural remedies, it's a holistic approach to healing, cherished across generations. Number 32. The Kamsung Yuli Namgyal Choten isn't just a stupa. Overlooking the Punaka Valley, this multi-storied monument, with its intricate paintings and statues, stands as a testament to Bhutan's artistic and spiritual fervor. Number 33. Bhutan's national flower, the blue poppy, is more than a bloom. Found in high altitudes and symbolizing purity, this ethereal flower embodies the pristine nature of the Himalayan kingdom. Number 34. The craft of Dezo, or traditional paper making, is not just an art form. Using the bark of the local trees, this handmade paper, known for its durability, preserves the nature, stories, and scriptures. Number 35. The Wangyu Fo Drong. Chechu isn't just a gathering. This annual event is a spirited display of Bhutan's rich traditions, with mask dances and folk songs filling the air with joy and reverence. Number 36. Bhutan's suspension bridges aren't just crossings. Often adorned with prayer flags and offering panoramic views of rivers and valleys, these bridges are pathways to scenic beauty and spiritual journeys. Number 37. The traditional Bhutanese game Kuru isn't merely recreational. Played with darts, it's a blend of skill and festivity, often accompanied by cheers and laughter, encapsulating community spirit. Number 38. Bhutan's conservation efforts don't just stop at flora and fauna. The kingdom's commitment to maintaining at least 60% forest cover for perpetuity speaks volumes about its dedication to the planet's future. Number 39. The serene Fajuding Monastery, high above Thimpu, is more than a religious site. With its panoramic views and serene ambience, it offers both spiritual solace and a visual feast for visitors. Number 40. Lastly, the annual Chechu festivals are a highlight. These Buddhist festivals are vibrant displays of Bhutanese culture with dances, music and local delicacies, allowing both locals and visitors to immerse in the spiritual ethos of Bhutan. And with that, our mythical journey through the land of the Thunder Dragon comes to an end. Fellow travelers, if Bhutan's magical allure has captured your imagination, remember to give it a thumbs up. Want to continue exploring Asia's hidden treasures with us? Click that subscribe button and ring the bell, ensuring you never miss our adventures. Have you been to Bhutan or is it on your bucket list? Let's discuss in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in to Asia Unveiled. Until we venture forth again, Tashi Delek.